Ladies and gentlemen, now a little bit earlier on the channel, we did a video taking Hitmonkey out for an initial spin in Act 5, and I was actually really, really impressed. This champion, I tried to have quite low expectations for, just because Mole Man like, seemed like he'd be quite interesting on paper, but the reality was Mole Man was a massive disappointment, and Hitmonkey, with the guaranteed crits, kind of shared similar themes. However, Hitmonkey, man, just shredded so many of the fights earlier, we couldn't even get to a special 3 in the majority of the fights to show it off. Uh, so I thought today we'd dive into a little bit of Realm of Legends. And uh, just as a heads up, we don't have this Hitmonkey permanently on our account. He's only been given to me for a few days via the CCP to make a few videos on, do a little bit of testing, man. So yeah, we're going to enjoy those few days because he seems like a pretty damn cool character. I've been disappointed by like <laughs> a decent chunk of champions this year. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how he performs in Realm of Legends when it does come to some of these bigger fights. But we're going to go for the special three, uh, which gives us a cruelty and also the ability to pause um, his stances as well so that's uh, that should be a pretty solid damage increase when it does come to longer fights however I think in uh, Realm of Legends maybe his slight lack of block proficiency which is definitely a notable downside about Hitmonkey uh, might become a bit noticeable but we're gonna have to see let's go for another three combo here don't want to be too uh, cheeky on the backdrafts so like maybe in stuff like Labyrinth, you could be a bit bit more cheeky with some of the backdrafts going on. Let's go for another three combo. Can we get a stun? There we go. Very nice. So let's charge straight in after the special three. And this gives us a 27 second cruelty buff. And every time we strike in, it's going to pause our stances for like 0 0.3 seconds. So it allows us to uh, potentially stack up even more crit bleeds. But we do need to, uh, you know, maintain a level of aggression. Nice, those crit bleeds there. They're doing a bit of work, man. Not like a crazy amount of work, but you can very frequently get the bleeds off. And again, this is only a, a five-star rank three champion. So there are uh, much higher power levels that could be accessible with this dude. Let's go straight into a special two here. Yeah, the special three seems all right. I think we'll probably go for another one. I'm not too sure if it's just better to spam Special 2, though. Because Special 2, you know, you've got a lot of crits on it. You've got a lot of bleeds off it as well as a result of the crits. Because every three guaranteed crits in a row gives you a, uh, a bleed on the opponent. And the longer you have your Assassin's Cunning active, uh, then the higher, what is it, chance to get a crit bleed. Alright, so I feel like there, we're just we're just going to go for another SP2. But then we'll go for a special 3. I think uh, maybe moving into Assassin's range. But yeah, he's not doing so too bad so far, man. We have taken a fair amount of block damage. So I think that is a, a very notable, um, you know, con about the character. These three combos, man, you are going to be taking uh, a lot of blocked hits. But I think for, you know, your regular shorty, shorter bursty content... Uh, this guy is going to be a bit of a beast for people to pick up. I also don't believe he needs to be awakened to be a really good champion as well. I think even unawakened. I don't think the awakened ability does too much. I think above like 25% health, um, it uh, increases the duration of your stances by like, I think it's like 3 seconds or 3 and a bit seconds. And below 25% also gives a 40% ability accuracy reduction. So it's nothing like super crazy. Or like essential so I saw Legacy man got crazy lucky in uh, his Hitmonkey crystal opening a little bit earlier he decided to upload that today so I'm, I'm a lot of jealous of that man but yeah he's he's slapping he's doing some great work here he's got this uh, this man down we're 140 hits deep in the combo well, let's go for a special two also about to enter Assassin's Range here. I think there is a synergy with somebody that allows Assassin's Range as well on Hitmonkey uh, to start at 25%, just as a bit of a fun fact. But yeah, again, I'm not really too sure what the optimal rotation is. I do like the special two for speed, though. It's definitely a preference of mine. Time wise as well, we ain't doing too bad for rank 3, I think, how long were we on the intro? But yeah, his hit count's going to be like slightly lower as well because he does have like a 3 combo that he's just mashing out. <laughs> but hopefully Wind Soldier's going to go down, oh there we go man, just about 184 hits there. 
I do, I do think as well, you can run Hitmonkey, maybe with Suicides. I guess you've got, you've got to ideally use the special too. Uh, but maybe you just do like back to back special threes. Maybe that's a way to go about playing this champion. I'm sure Legacy is going to have all sorts of uh, great suicide related content, man. Don't want to quite respect, but I, I might do. I might might get a bit carried away playing Hitmonkey um, this weekend and go for the mastery reset. If you can get the backdrafts, man, and just keep on chaining on those crits, get a lot of uh, bleeds very quickly. I think there's a fantastic little combo when you're playing the uh, the more aggressive matchups. But here, I'm just too used to going for that special two, man. I really need to uh, instead go for the special three. I think if we've maybe got the assassin stance, we want to go for the special two. But if we don't, maybe we go for the special three. That's maybe the way to do it. But in this match, because uh, Captain Marvel isn't a mercenary, we're only going to get uh, one stance. Alright, let's go for this. I think this should be like a lot of crit bleeds off this one, in all fairness. Oh no, we didn't get any. Okay, well. Sucked a bit. I'll try this fight actually not using any special three and see if there's much of a difference because again we didn't even have the uh, the class advantage in the uh, first encounter there. But I'm curious to see how he feels against uh, an opponent like uh, Juggernaut. He's coming up soon. I think uh, one of the pros to um, Hitmonkey as well, when it does come to these longer fights, you know, if you're playing uh, like frigging Corvus Glaive, <laughs> you eventually run out of charges. Whereas this man, he's just very, very consistent at dealing the uh, dealing the crits, man. You've always got a crit off every first medium, first light attack, and also last medium. So you stick to those three combos. It really is like damage-wise. The drawback of playing Hitmonkey is the <laughs> block proficiency. Because he's getting a bit, a bit bad down here. Oh, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like sticking to those special twos might be the way to go. This, this match is going quite nice, very quick as well. For a, uh, for a rank three. But yeah, I want to see what this guy looks like. Fully maxed out with suicide masteries and maybe boosters as well. I think he can do some very quick stuff. This guy had like a, a little ramp up as well because he's not really like a, a ramp up champion. The rotation really is just get to the um, special to rinse and repeat. So there aren't really like any massive spikes in terms of his damage output. So we're all quite consistent for the most part. But sometimes, uh, you know, consistency is a great trait to bring to some fights. And we know how enjoyable, like, Corvus is. I mean, Corvus, he's kind of in a league of his own to a certain extent because of that, like, cheat death ability he has. It's, like, way, way too good. And he can also just ignore, like, uh, auto block. I guess Hitmonkey actually does have a way to completely ignore evasion when he's in his assassin stance. Um, but, yeah, we're going to heal him up a little bit. But we're, we're, we'll run below 50%, man. And see if we can uh, take this Juggernaut down. This actually really shouldn't change the rhythm of this fight too much, in all fairness. I don't know, Juggernaut might be a bit of a pain. You know, you've got that friggin' unstoppable to contend with, and that's always a uh, bit of a bad time. So yeah, we can do like, uh, what is it, two crits there, and then back off. I remember when I could just never evade Juggernaut Special 1, man. Just got wrecked all the time. I think that was when I did my first, like, Labyrinth for 100% run on uh, my big big old whale account. Getting constantly wrecked by that man. Hmm. 
Yeah, we didn't get the guaranteed crit on that. Sometimes I think you need to be very, very fast with the, the connection off that special two in order to uh, make sure it's guaranteed crit on everything. But it's, uh, you know, again, a, lo a little bit like Corvus Glaive's special two, this guaranteed crits. But you don't have, like, as much immediate damage on the special two. Like, Corvus certainly has a lot more. Plus, he has that drain as well, which is really nice. You do have the bleeds on Hitmonkey. That uh, lack of block proficiency, I'm a bit worried about, man. I think we are slowly being battered down by Juggernaut here. Taking a couple of blocked hits, but you know, you, you're going to take a, a few blocked hits in a bigger fight. If it weren't for like the Axe 6 attack nerfs coming out, I'd. I'd be less optimistic about Hit Monkey, but now I know those values are going down. Plus, like, if you're a beast mode interceptor as well, just do some backdrafts and intercepts from a distance. I think you can make this uh, champion uh, work quite nicely. Don't need to maybe rely on the... Because uh, there's no, like, 100% reason to parry. Get a nice backdraft combo. Just keep on uh, firing in those guaranteed crits. The only thing you need to do... Uh, just make sure you crit like three times in a row. Just stick to uh, attacks that guarantee a crit. That was a very cheeky hit there, man. I can't believe we got away with that. But we did, so I'll take that. Oh... Okay, let's go. Special two. Crit bleeds. I wish the bleeds did a bit more, though. Wish they were a bit, a little bit more exciting. But I guess he's got, like, um, you know, some pretty good damage on the base. <laughs> like, just guaranteed crits absolutely everywhere. Just trying to think. There's that, there's that, what is it? That quest in Act 6 that uh, gives you a lot more quest node. Particular node. It's like combo party. Gives you, like, so much more crit damage. Uh, via the cruelty node. I think he'd be great for that, man. He'd be a very fun champion for that one. Any scenario that's going to give this man a lot more crit damage, much like the old Corvus boy. He's going to be having an absolute field day. Let's go for a cheeky tap there. Can't catch me, son. I think we can actually throw the special one here. Yeah, unblockable. Perfect finish. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, Juggernaut fight. The block proficiency was definitely uh, uh, more noticeable in that encounter. But I think he shredded the first like three fights. That's 1.5 million, right? I haven't done any cuts or anything. Yeah, in like uh, 12, uh, 12 minutes. So uh, it's decent, man. That's decent. I think we're going to heal up for Rhino. Let's go... Um, uh, four of these mad lads, and I think Rhino will be our final boss today, so I think we'll go for one one special three toward the start. Let's make it work. <laughs> okay, not not the uh, not the fastest beginning there. It's all good. I'm going for the insane Realm Legend speed run just today. Oh, Rhino's, Rhino's special attack is going to be really nice, man, just because they're so easy to punish. And I forgot to tap the screen there, because I suck. <laughs> that was definitely a slight misplay. Right. Let's go for this. Hopefully, as soon as uh, this finishes... Okay, it's just frozen on my end. It's fine now. <laughs> Very iconic place to freeze. I, I really like the special three as well, man. Just smooth, isn't it? Alright, let's nuke in here. I think the special three might be better in fights where um, the opponent has like a really quick special. Hmm. 
No. <laughs> we are destroying this rhino though, man. That's this is going very, very nicely. Here for another special three. Is there like enough time to get the valley out of the special three? I think there is, in all fairness. I think we just uh, shred this man down. Oh, wow. Class Advantage. I don't think we played... Oh, we might have played like one fight with Class Advantage last time. But this guy is on a rampage with Class Advantage, man. Okay, we're about to enter Assassin's Range as well. Very nice. He is butchering this rhino. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I really like him, Monkey Man. I think he's definitely a champion that kind of uh, surpasses the the average standard a bit. I think he has the, the potential to be a um, uh, solid god tier, at least in terms of his damage output. But also, he does have the ability to counter evade, also get rid of debuffs on himself. Um, so yeah, I think he's a really, really interesting addition to the game. Uh, definitely, definitely in the top like three or five champions, maybe top five released this year. Um, but yeah, I, I must admit, I have really, really enjoyed making these Hit Monkey videos today after having like uh, some questionable champions in the um, uh, the last few months. It looks like they're they're finally starting to get it right. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below when it does come to Hit Monkey. And if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.